Hello students. Welcome back to history class. Today let's see unit 2 from trade to territory. Why did the Europeans come to India? Is it only for trade? Their main motive behind this was to maximize trade and to establish political supremacy. Through various battles and wars, the British established their political power in India. First is Battle of Plassey. The Battle of Plassey was fought on 23rd June 1757. It was fought between the British East India Company and the Nawab of Bengal and his French allies. When Ali Wadi Khan, the Nawab of Bengal, died in 1756, his grandson Siraj Uddawla ascended the throne of Bengal. The British, taking advantage of the new Nawab's weakness, seized the power. So Siraj Uddawla decided to teach them a lesson by attacking Fort William at Calcutta. There was a small dungeon room in the fort where troops of the British were put inside. Next day morning when the door was open, 123 of the prisoners were found dead because of suffocation. This was called Black Hole Tragedy. The Nawab captured their factory at Kazim Bazar on 20th June 1756. Fort William surrendered. But Robert Clive recovered Calcutta. On 9th February 1757, Treaty of Ali Nagar was signed whereby Siraj ud conceded his claims and British captured Chandra Nagore. The Battle of Plassey was fought on 23rd June 1757 where Robert Clive defeated the forces of Siraj ud -Dawla. The Battle of Baksa was fought on October 22nd 1764 at Baksa, a town at Bihar. It was a decisive victory for the British East India Company over the combined army of Shuja Uddawla, Shah Alam and Mir Qasim. After the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the company was granted undisputed right to have free trade in Bengal, Bihar and Orissa. Mir Jafar, the Nawab of Bengal, fell into arrears and was forced to abdicate in favour of his son-in-law, Mir Qasim. Mir Qasim gave away Burdwan, Midnapur and Chittagong. He shifted his capital to Mongur. Mir Qasim soon revolted as he was angry with the Brit British for misusing their power. However, he was defeated by the British and he fled to Awadh. The Battle of Baksa was a decisive victory for the British East India Company. Shuja ud Shah Alam and Mir Qasim were defeated by General Hector Munro. Mir Jafar was again placed on the throne. On Mir Jafar's death, his son Nisam ud was placed on the throne and he signed the Allahabad Treaty on 20th February 1765. Robert Clive concluded two separate treaties with Shuja ud and Shah Alam II. Dual system of government started in Bengal. In the 18th century, three Carnatic wars were fought between various Indian rulers, British and French East India Company on either side. First Carnatic War 1746-1748 on the outbreak of the Austrian War of Succession in Europe, the English and the French were on opposite camps. The echo of this war was felt in India. The First Carnatic War, called the Battle of Adyar 1746, was fought between Anwaruddin and a small French army under Captain Paradise. The French defeated the Indian army under Mafuskan. The war ended with the Treaty of Axla Chapel, which brought the Austrian War of Succession to an end. Under these terms, Madras was returned back to the English and the French in turn got their territories in North America. 
the main cause of the second karnatic war was anwaruddin khan and chanda sahib wanted the throne of karnatic and nazir jang and musafar jang wanted the throne of hyderabad so the war of succession took place and french supported chanda sahib and musafar jang british supported anwaruddin khan and nazir jang duplex chanda sahib and musafar jang defeated anwaruddin and killed him in the battle of ambur on 3rd august 1749 chanda sahib became the nawab of karnatak muhammad ali the son of anwaruddin fled to trichinopoly in the deccan nasir jang was killed and musafar jang became the nizam of hyderabad but soon his own people assassinated him and very soon his brother salabat jang was raised to the throne by busi and salabat jang granted the northern circus to the french duplex the french governor's power was at its zenith by that time the battle of arcot 1751 duplex and chanda sahib besieged trichy in the meantime robert clive took this opportunity and captured arcot robert clive defeated the french at arni and kaveri park with the assistance of lawrence chanda sahib was killed in trichy and muhammad ali was made the nawab of arcot under the british protection the french recalled duplex and with the treaty of pondicherry duplex was succeeded by gaudio and according to it the french lost its power the english proved their superiority over the land the outbreak of the seven years war in europe led to the third carnatic war in india by this time robert clive established the british power in bengal count de lali was deputed from france to conduct the war from the french side he easily captured fort st david and ordered busi to come down to the carnatic with his army taking advantage of busi's departure robert clive sent colonel ford from bengal to occupy northern circus the battle of vandi wash was fought on january 22 1760 the english army under general i could totally routed the french army under lali within a year the french had lost all their positions in india the seven years war was concluded by the treaty of paris the french settlements including pondicherry were given back to the french they were not allowed to gather armies and forbidden to fortify those places the french dominance in india practically came to an end and with this we conclude part 1 and we shall continue with more wars and battles in the part 2 session revise well children thank you for watching